I have to lose 10 pounds in a month for my weigh-in. I literally need to lose 25 pounds in two months for my next weigh-in. Hey, if this is you and you're active duty and you are freaking out because you need to make weight by a certain date for your height and weight standards, please watch this video. First of all, take a breath. I know you're probably feeling super anxious and very panicky to lose this weight because you need to meet height and weight standards either to stay in, stay off of the weight loss program, or in order to re-enlist. But you need to be setting yourself up with realistic expectations of what real and sustainable and healthy weight loss looks like. If you don't know what that looks like, go ahead and visit my playlist titled Weight Loss. Second, we need to be planning properly. You know you are going to have at least an annual weigh-in. Because of your job, it is your responsibility to watch your weight and see where it's going. If it's fluctuating up, if it's starting to go down, it's your responsibility to keep track of that. If you are keeping track of it and you just don't know what to do to lose weight, then you need to seek advice from a professional, not your staff sergeant, not your first sergeant who thinks they know what to do because they tell you to starve yourself and work out three times a day. Starving yourself, making yourself throw up, going to the sauna for four hours a day, does and can lead to eating disorders. Too many people get out as a veteran with eating disorders. I promise you, if you are someone who feels like you genuinely cannot lose weight or you cannot maintain the height and weight standard, there is a way to make it work for you. The biggest thing that you need to battle is your anxiety with your height and weight. No matter what any freaking leader tells you, you are not a shitbag just because you struggle with it. It's a human struggle and that is okay. What is not okay is encouraging or participating in really unhealthy ways to lose that weight. In order to lose weight, you actually do need to be eating enough calories. So starving yourself is not an option. Make sure that you're filling your meals with proteins, a good source of carbs, so complex carbs, not simple sugars. Making sure you're getting vegetables in to fill the volume of food so that you're not eating as many calories, but you're still feeling full. You need to drink water every day. Your weight is 50% water, at least. Sometimes dropping the last two to three pounds from water is okay. But again, it's water weight. You need to stay hydrated because drinking water each day will actually help your weight fluctuate less. Working out twice a day is not the solution for everybody. Most of the time, it is your nutrition, not how often you PT. So should you be working out? Absolutely. But you shouldn't be killing yourself in cardio in lifting multiple times a day. That paired with poor nutrition is just going to lead to injuries. If you want to know how to maintain your height and weight standards while you're active duty, give me a follow.